One of the exciting new features of Graphical Analysis Pro is the ability to data share over the internet. And this allows a machine, a computer or a phone that's collecting data with sensors to send the data to someone else with another device somewhere on the internet. So imagine uh, you could be students in the classroom that you are collecting data and you want to send it to them to analyze, or it could be a situation where you are in a hybrid environment or a virtual environment and you are collecting data and sharing it to your students wherever they are. Um, and then when they get the data, they can do the analysis themselves. So it allows them to interact with real data that's collected remotely. So I'd like to show you how to do this. So for this video, I'm going to collect some data and I chose to use the hand dynamometer, just grip strength. I just need to be able to get a little data. And I'm going to share the data with myself. Um, so I'll be collecting the data on the computer here and sending the data to my cell phone uh, that's also running Graphical Analysis Pro. So I'll show you how to set this up for yourself. Now I've already connected my hand dynamometer to the Graphical Analysis Pro. And uh, so we see here just says force and time. That's the, the data I'm going to collect. But what I wanna do is do this as a data sharing session. So what I have to do is start the session. And I start the session by coming up to this icon in the upper right corner and I click there. And it says start session. And when I do this, it will generate a code that you can share with someone on the other end that wants to receive it. And so the person who is going to be receiving the data, they need to enter in this code into their device to, uh, to be able to, to do that. So what I want to do now is I'm going to set this up so that uh, I have my cell phone and I need to enter the code here. So I'm going to uh, just record my cell phone screen as I do this. So uh, to receive the data, I'm going to go up to where it says untitled and I do new experiment. And I wanna do data sharing. And so data sharing, I click on data sharing and it has a place for me to enter the ID. Well, that ID is what I put up on my computer there. So I need to enter that in and connect. But now what you see on my cell phone screen is the same thing that is on my computer screen. So when I hit collect, what will happen is that we should get the data on both screens simultaneously. So I'm gonna hit collect. I'm going to squeeze the sensor and uh, we start to see that the data is indeed going from one device to the next over the internet. Now, one interesting thing about data sharing is that I'm only sharing the data between devices. So if I do analysis on, say, the teacher computer, uh, in this case would be here, if I come and examine and look at values and whatnot, it does not appear on the person on the receiving end. They just have the data. They can do their own analysis. And so this will be a good way to interact with students where maybe you're sending the data to a group of students uh, who are functioning as a lab group um, and you've sent them the data and they are asked to analyze it themselves uh, independently of your analysis. Quite a few schools and universities have developed a program where they are having the students collect data away from the school. They're not in the lab situation, but you could imagine where a group of students is working together as a lab group and one student maybe is collecting one set of data um, and sharing it with the others in the group and being able to do that group analysis work, even though they aren't in the lab together. As another example of using data share, my colleague uh, Colleen and I did an Earth Day broadcast where we actually broadcast data that we were collecting. And she was in Oregon and I was in Tennessee. And we were able to both broadcast data from those different locations and share it with the event participants. So I think you'd have to agree that this data sharing feature really opens up the realms of possibilities of things that you can do. The ability to interact with that real data in real time is game-changing. 
Uh, and so we, I would encourage you to explore this feature yourself. If you don't already have Graphical Analysis Pro, you can download a free 30-day trial from Veneer.com, and it's available for iOS, Android, Mac, PC, and Chrome. So uh, pretty much any device that you might have would work with it. And uh, so give it a try and uh, see how it can enhance your teaching.